Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to label the y-axis here uh, with the percentage sign uh, in ggplot2. And also in the end, I will share with you how to order the bars uh, according to the values, uh, either from small to, uh, to the highest or in descending order. So make sure you stick to the end. Okay, to illustrate, uh, we will use this uh, single cell uh, RNA sequencing uh, data, uh, dummy dataset, PBMC 3K datasets as an example. Because in this dataset, it has multiple uh, cell types and we want to plot the percentage of each cell type uh, for um, this sample. Okay, let's load some of the libraries. Threat, and threat data, dplyr for data wrangling and gplot2 for the plotting. Okay, and let's uh, load the data PBMC 3K. And actually after I load this data PBMC 3K, I got this error. So it's actually very common to get errors, but make sure you read the error messages so you understand what's, what's wrong. So it says, okay, no slot of name images for this object of class threat. So please run update threat object on your object. So it's very likely uh, in the later threat version, it actually requires there's a slot called images, but the old uh, object, threat object, they uh, didn't have those. So we can run, just read the uh, error message. We can run, uh, update the threat object and assign it uh, back to the variable, okay? And then uh, and we'll actually add all those like, missing slots. And now if we run this again, there's no error uh, message, okay? It's just 3,000 uh, cells, uh, PBMC data, okay? If you look at, uh, okay, the uh, threat annotations, so the cell type annotations, you'll see those are the cell types, and those are the number of cells in uh, for each cell type. Uh, we can just look at the metadata slot and take a look, okay? So essentially, for this data frame, each row is one cell, and then this column uh, is the annotation of that cell. Now let's get the cell numbers, okay? We can use the table function here, but uh, let's keep it in a data, data frame. So we can use the count uh, function from dplyr. So you can just count uh, this column and it will, so let's see how it looks like. And we can take a look, okay? So then we'll return this data frame now with uh, this column here, uh, cell type annotation and the number of cells for that cell type, okay? Now with that, we can calculate the percentages. Okay, for example, how many naive T cells, CD4 T cells, uh, what's the percentage? Okay, it has 697, uh, but then we need to divide by the total number, okay? So we can use mutate function and calculate percent equals to N divided by the sum of N. Sum of N will be the total number of cells in that sample, times 100, okay? And we will also rename this column name as a uh, cell type, okay? So run this command and let's look at how it looks like. So now it's cell type, uh, it's renamed this column and now we have a new uh, column called percent and this percentage, okay? So now we are ready to plot uh, using ggplot2, okay? And then this data frame and the x axis will be the cell type and the y axis will be the percent and we will use the uh, geometric object bar and use the uh, identity, essentially just use those values, okay? Let's run this. And you see here you have like zero, 10, and 20, but we want to add the percentage sign. How to do this? So the trick here is to use uh, the scales uh, package. There's a, a percent function here, so you can use. So you just add scale y, uh, access continuous and labels equals to uh, scales uh, and, and you can uh, provide the function percent. Okay, let's take a look. And oh, but something uh, comes weird, okay, because now you have like 2,000% two, 2, and 1,000%, percent, which doesn't make sense because I think by default, uh, this function will time 100 uh, for that uh, for each value. So there are different solutions. Uh, either you just do not time 
uh, 100 here. So if you use uh, this value, uh, this uh, uh, function here, then it will give you the expected value. Or we can use a different function uh, inside, uh, inside the scales uh, package called percent format, and you can specify the scale you want. So scale equals one means you don't time 100. Okay, and let's run this. And now it's uh, the uh, expected uh, values, okay, 10% and 20%, okay. So it looks like a naive uh, T cells has the highest, CD4 T cells. Uh, but what if we want uh, more digits? Now here is like 20% how but we want like one more digit here, so you can specify the accuracy, okay, 0.1. So if you run this, so you have uh, 20 Point zero percent, or you can even like change it to like two digits, two more digits here, like twenty point point zero zero percent. So you can really like, customize how you want the y axis look like. And uh, last thing I want to do is okay, and this like those x x axis labels they are kind of overlapping with each other, so I want to kind of rotate them either by forty five percent, forty five degree or ninety degree. So you just need to add this one line theme function and uh, uh, specified element uh, tag underscore tags and angle 90 and this is just, just the adjust the uh, space horizontally and, uh, and vertically okay, so, uh, by the way i never really uh, remember this every time i have to google it so it's fine just google how to rotate x uh, access labels in ggplot so then you will find that uh, stack overflow post so i just copied that from there Okay, so let's do this. And okay, now you, you can see the labels a little bit more clearly. So uh, now you see for T cells is the most abundant cell types. Uh, just to make this look a little bit better, for example, uh, it, like we want to actually reorder the bars by, by the percentage, either from, for example, low to high. So what we can do we can use this uh, function from for four cats uh, package. It's also part of the tidyverse uh, uh, ecosystem, and there's this factor reorder function. So you can essentially just reorder. X. So X is the cell type, uh, the X axis, and we order this by the value of percent. So by default, it's from low to high. If we do this, let's see. Now it the uh, x-axis, uh, the bars are ordered uh, from low to high here, okay? And note that this, uh, this NA, so those cells are not annotated, so this is, um, it will be always in the last, okay, NA. So you can also specify uh, descending equals to true, so it will be from high to low. And the rest of the code is the same here. So if you run this, and now the uh, bars are ordered from high to low. Okay, so this is a very handy uh, trick I always use if you want to uh, reorder the bar or even reorder box plot, you can use the same function or same trick here to reorder. Okay, for example, if you want to reorder the box plot uh, according to the median, so you, you can do this uh, facet reorder percent and you can add, uh, like for example, median here. Okay, so you can uh, have a function. Uh, Essentially, what do you want to order by? Okay. Okay. okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you click subscribe if you like it and happy learning. See you next time.